Smith, I promise you that this is worth your while. You can show your, show your boss, show your coworkers, uh, do something, uh, basically generate work for yourself, but there's a there's a real payoff to it. Uh, just to get sure. Well, that's cool. That's actually really cool. That's not what I wanted to show you, but that was still cool. Just over the world. Um, so uh, just to be sure, because maybe someone's already heard of this, does anyone know ab about the, it's, this is, I'm just going to tell you about the HTTP header and the website. The HTTP header is content security policy. Does anyone here know, that, know what that is? You do. You win. Have you implemented it on your site? No, you haven't. Because you think it's hard, right? It's really hard. It, it's, it's, it's not that easy. But you can, you can do it. And I'm not going to tell you how to do that right now, but I'm going to tell you how you can allocate your boss to allocate time to do that. Okay, so I worked on this, which you might know. Uh, whoops, I can type. Uh, you know, I worked on an 18 year old Perl application written by sysadmins. <laughs> the internet is not working. Fantastic. Well, let's put it 10 slides. So I worked on an 18 year old Perl application. I use CGIPM. I, I also, a coworker of mine works on this other website that you should write down. You should go to observatory.mozilla.org, put in the URL to your bank, all right, and go there. And it will give your bank a letter grade, your bank's website a letter grade. I almost guarantee you your bank will get an F, okay? Most applications will get an F. This is a subjective, arbitrary, not, not exactly fair rating system, but it is meant to cause you to do things that are secure. One of the things it will cause you to do uh, is implement content security policy if you want a really high rating. It'll also make sure you're not using cookies that are uh, that are not uh, session specific and some other things. And I would love to show it to you right now. Uh, my bank gets an F. Uh, many, some, some better sites actually manage to get like a D minus. However, the site that I maintain, which is the, Mo the Bugzilla install that runs Mozilla, gets an A minus. So my 18-year-old, 20-year-old Perl application using CGIPM gets a better security rating than, than like a handful of other things, including possibly more important things like my bank. Uh, we don't have internet, so I can't show. No. But anyway, so that's uh, so. What you should do is scan this on, scan your own site, tell your boss that you need to do something to do this. And then hopefully at the next Pro conference, I'll give you a talk on a module that you can use for defining a content security policy on a per page basis. Oh, awesome. So this is this is my hell. I mean, so is this being recorded? Anyway, uh, no, no. no, no, no. That's good. So that's you my hell. <laughs> Control plus plus. But this is a coworkers project. I can spell on a keyboard that's wider than it needs to be. Oh yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's how we go. I so it looks almost like I was writing in, in perhaps Polish. Yeah, it's, it's a full size keyboard. <laughs> no, no offense. I, 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 just, I, 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 I don't worry. I just, I just came from a key signing party, so I have to read some lots of different names. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to pick um, Brussels.b. And that's equal sign, and that's enter. And I have no idea what this is going to be. It's never been scanned before, so we'll see. Yeah, if it's been scanned before, we actually cache the results and you get it. Um, is this SSL checking? It's going to check SSL. It's going to check a bunch of headers. Um, and it's reticulating the splines now. There you go. So Brussels.me is an F. Here's why it's an F. <laughs> Uh, this is not bad. My bank gets the score too. I'm not going to say what my bank is for this. Okay, so con no content security policy, so uh, cross-site injection things are intact. Uh, cookies are not set with a secure flag, so you can get them over plain HTTP. Cross-origin re uh, resource sharing is not disabled. Uh, public, no public key pinning, no strict transport security. A re redirect with the final destination is not HTTPS. It uh, doesn't have a refer policy. It doesn't use sub-resource security. All these things are things you're meant to look up, by the way, if you don't know what they are. And those are links that you can look up what they are. And it's basically none of those things. I'm intrigued what's this guy. What? TV slow on me. I'm not, I want to do one more. So, okay, so that's... Oh, honestly, my slide. Yeah, but I want to show you mine. I want to show you how, how, you, can, how you can be slightly better. It's a special kind of special. It's a, I love this. <laughs> okay. It's the last Sony fire. 
All right. Meanwhile, that is my site. I have, I'm not my site forever. I've only been working on this for three years. But I have a freaking A+. Mozilla is, is pretty old. It's using CGI PM. But I can do this. And actually, I don't have this on every page. But I have this on the most vulnerable pages. So you too can do this. Um, meanwhile, not that I, I have no problem with, with Jira, but uh, oh no, that's not that URL. So Mozilla, most people have switched from using Mozilla to using something else. So Jira is quite popular, you know, written in, in Java. Uh, but I like this. So that's is it dot com? Uh, I think it's dot com. So meanwhile, the uh, the better you know, record that more people are using that you pay money for is the D plus. So this is but uh, they have a team of a lot of people. I have a team of me and, G and uh, you know, my coworker DKL. So even if you don't have a lot of resources on your belt, you can probably infer this. And as, as we get the community, we can say, hey, more Perl sites get high security rates. Uh, uh, uh. So here's another system like TOB that we can game. So game this system. There you go.